Welcome to the first and last edition of uh, Holy Shit, school starting next week and I have to get back into the mode of explaining things. I'm your host PJ Fetcher and today I will be showing you how to uh, correctly measure for the bevel down the center of a sheet of plywood. I need to rip this piece of plywood right down the middle at a 45 degree bevel. So I've got the old track saw here set to 45 degrees and my dilemma, not really dilemma, the thing I'm going to explain to you is uh, that the center line needs to be offset because this is going to be set at a 45 degree angle. So if I, if I were to just measure 24 from one end, which would be halfway between both sides, uh, setting the blade at a 45 degree angle would make the two pieces unequal. So what we've got to do is cheat over a little bit to compensate for that 45 degree bevel. And I'm going to show you how to figure that out. Here we are on the edge of the piece of plywood. We've got a three quarter inch thick piece of 13 ply Baltic birch. Very nice piece of wood. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to lay out where we think our center mark would be. All right, so I'm gonna use a Sharpie just so you guys can see a little bit better. But let's call that our center line, all right? And here's a little geometry trick for you guys. To find the center of anything that's th a fraction, let's say like three quarters of an inch, like this piece of plywood, we go from three quarters, all we're gonna do is multiply the denominator by two. So instead of saying three quarters of an inch or three over four, we're gonna say three over eight or three eighths of an inch. Then all you're gonna do is measure down from one side, three eighths of an inch. I'm just gonna eyeball it for video purposes. Let's say that's the center of the, um, the center of the thickness of the piece of wood. And we're gonna flip our square over to the 45 degree angle side. And we're gonna put it right there where it intersects with that halfway mark. And we're gonna strike a line. As you can see, we've now created two equal triangles here and here, right? And you'll notice a few things about them. They're, since they're equal, we've got three eighths here, three eighths here. That means through laws of geometry that this side and this side are also three eighths. We don't have to figure out what the hypotenuses are at all. All we need to know is that this side and this side are equal. So that means that if half the distance here is three eighths, then the distance from our mark to where we need to cut is also three eighths. This means I'm just gonna take my track that was originally laid out to 24 inches, which would have been halfway across the piece of wood, and I'm gonna add three eighths of an inch to that. So we're gonna go over to roughly, oh, I can't see through the camera, 24 and three eighths, about. No, not about, exactly. As they say, the proof is in the proverbial pudding. So I've got this side lined up. Actually, no, hold on. Now it's lined up and this side is also lined up. Let's get a square and make it official. Okay, bad lighting, but you get the idea. Thank you for joining me today on Holy Shit, School Starts Next Week, first edition and last edition. I appreciate you paying attention, hopefully. You can use geometry today as well.